Welcome to part five of lecture 13 of aerospace propulsion. So we're at this question where we want to figure out why a, um, a ratio of one or less than one for the uh, core to uh, bypass jet velocities is actually going to reduce the fuel consumption compared to one. And the reason is that what we really want to equalize is not just the velocity of the streams, we want to equalize the momentum of the streams. If the flow is incompressible, then equal velocity would equal would imply equal momentum. But the core flow is going to be at higher temperature than the bypass, and therefore it's going to have lower density. So as a result of that density difference, the velocities should not be equal to have equal momentum. The lower density for the core means that the core velocity should be higher than that of the bypass. And if we ensure both streams have the same momentum, that actually minimizes the mixing loss and is going to maximize uh, or minimize our specific fuel consumption. So this is now sort of the end of kind of our rubber engine design. We've basically specified the parameters for the whole engine. And um, in the next few lectures, we'll look at off design behavior as well as um, starting to get into design of the turbo machinery in the engine.